What if I told you that losing a tooth could soon be as temporary as losing baby teeth in childhood? Scientists in Japan have cracked the code to regenerating fully functional adult teeth. Welcome back to Medical Miracle, where we decode the latest breakthroughs in regenerative medicine. I'm your host, and today we're diving deep into the molecular science behind tooth regeneration. For decades, humans have been stuck with just two sets of teeth in their lifetime, baby teeth and adult teeth. But sharks? They can regrow teeth throughout their entire lives. The question scientists have been asking is, why can't we? Well, the answer is finally here, and it's called USAG1. So, what exactly is USAG1? USAG-1 stands for Uterine Sensitization Associated Gene 1. Despite its name, this protein has nothing to do with the uterus in adults. Instead, it plays a critical role in tooth development, or more accurately, in stopping tooth development. Think of USAG-1 as a security guard that prevents your body from growing extra teeth. In evolutionary terms, this makes sense. Too many teeth could cause overcrowding, bite problems, and other dental nightmares. So nature installed this biological break system. But here's where it gets fascinating. Researchers at Kyoto University, led by Dr. Katsu Takahashi, discovered that USAG1 works by blocking a crucial growth signal called BMP, or bone morphogenetic protein. BMP is like a construction manager for your teeth. It tells cells when and where to build new tooth structures. USAG1 essentially handcuffs this construction manager, preventing new teeth from forming. But what if we could remove those handcuffs? In 2021, Dr. Takahashi's team published groundbreaking research that changed dental medicine forever. They created an antibody drug that specifically targets and neutralizes USAG-1. Let me break down how this works in simple terms. When you inject this antibody into the body, it acts like a molecular magnet. It finds UZG1 proteins and binds to them, essentially taking them out of action. With USAG1 neutralized, BMP is free to do its job. And what does BMP do? It activates the genetic pathways that trigger tooth formation. In their initial experiments on mice, the results were nothing short of miraculous. Mice that were genetically missing teeth grew complete, functional teeth after receiving the USAG1 inhibitor injection. These weren't just tooth buds or partial structures. They were fully formed teeth with enamel, dentin, roots, and blood supply. But mice are one thing. What about larger animals closer to humans? The team moved on to ferrets and beagles, animals with dental structures much more similar to ours. And the results held up. Animals treated with the USAG1 inhibitor successfully grew new teeth where they had previously lost them. This wasn't science fiction anymore. This was reproducible, peer-reviewed science. Now, let's talk about how this treatment would actually work for humans. The current approach being tested involves a single injection of the USAG1 antibody drug, known as TRG035, directly into the gum tissue near the missing tooth site. The antibody circulates through your bloodstream and targets USAG1 proteins throughout your body, but the effect is most concentrated where tooth development is needed. Within weeks, dormant tooth bud cells that have been sleeping in your jaw since childhood begin to wake up. These cells, called dental epithelial cells, start receiving the BMP signals they've been missing. They begin to multiply, differentiate, and organize themselves into the complex structure of a tooth. Over the course of several months, a new tooth gradually emerges. First, the crown forms with its protective enamel coating. Then roots develop and anchor the tooth into the jawbone. Blood vessels grow into the pulp bringing nutrients and nerve fibers that give the tooth sensation. The timeline researchers are predicting approximately two to nine months for a fully functional tooth to grow. But here's what makes this approach revolutionary. It's not an implant, not a denture, not a bridge. It's a real biological tooth grown from your own cells with your own DNA. So where does this technology stand right now? The USAG1 inhibitor completed phase one human trials in 2024, which focused on safety. Researchers needed to confirm that blocking USAG1 in humans doesn't cause unexpected side effects. 
The good news? The treatment was well tolerated with no serious adverse reactions reported. Phase 2 trials launched in 2025 and are currently underway. These trials are testing the treatment on patients with congenital tooth agenesis, people born missing one or more permanent teeth due to genetic conditions. This affects approximately 1% of the population, which translates to millions of people worldwide. The Phase 2 trials are evaluating not just safety, but effectiveness. Can the drug successfully trigger tooth growth in humans? How long does it take? What's the success rate? These are the questions being answered right now. If Phase 2 shows promising results, Phase 3 trials could begin as early as 2026 or 2027. Testing the treatment on larger populations and potentially expanding to people who've lost teeth due to injury, decay, or aging. Dr. Takahashi has stated that if all goes according to plan, this treatment could be commercially available by 2030. But the implications of USAG-1 inhibition go far beyond just regrowing lost teeth. Understanding how to manipulate tooth development at the molecular level opens doors to treating a wide range of dental conditions. Researchers are exploring whether similar approaches could help strengthen existing teeth, repair damaged enamel, or even prevent tooth decay at the genetic level. There's also exciting research into whether USAG1 inhibitors could be combined with other regenerative therapies. Imagine a future where stem cell treatments and growth factor therapies work together to regenerate not just teeth, but the entire supporting structure, gums, jawbone, and ligaments. And here is something most people do and realize. The same biological pathways involved in tooth development are also involved in bone formation, wound healing, and tissue regeneration throughout the body. The lessons learned from tooth regeneration could potentially be applied to regrowing damaged bones, healing chronic wounds, or even regenerating organs. This isn't just about teeth. This is about unlocking the human body's dormant regenerative potential. The science behind uz minus one inhibition proves that tooth regeneration isn't fantasy. It's molecular biology. By understanding and controlling the proteins that regulate tooth development, scientists are turning back the clock on one of humanity's oldest medical problems. We're living in an incredible time where the impossible is becoming possible one breakthrough at a time. If you found this video fascinating, smash that like button and subscribe to Medical Miracle for more cutting-edge health and science content. Drop a comment below and let me know, would you try tooth regeneration therapy or would you stick with traditional dental implants? Until next time, keep believing in the miracle of science.